All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over understanding wedges and dashes. Now, before you click away and go to Khan Academy or Organic Chemistry Tutor, let me tell you, this video has mnemonics. <laughs> Something that they don't do. So, in OCHEM, 95 of the images are drawn as wedges and dashes. Why? Well, number one, it's easy. Number two, you gotta think about this. So whenever you're in OCHEM class, you're taking a test or doing your homework, right? It's on a sheet of paper or your laptop screen. You're viewing those compounds as 2D, right? It's in 2D space. But that's a problem because in OCHEM, organic chemistry compounds are in 3D. You're surrounded by OCHEM compounds. Your lamp, your table, your laptop, your Instapot. I just looked at my Instapot. I was like, oh, they're all in 3D. And they're all organic compounds. So we need a way to depict these 3D compounds in 2D space, like your sheet of paper or the screen you're watching this video on. So that's where wedges and dashes come in. So wedges are these solid brick looking things. And the dashes here are the dashy looking things. I don't know. So a wedge means that whenever an atom or molecule is connected to a wedge, like this hydrogen is connected to a wedge or this hydrogen is connected to a wedge, it means that the molecule or atom is coming out of the plane or towards you. So think about like those children pop-up books. You know, you used to see them when you were a kid or maybe an adult, I don't judge, but you open them and an image pops out to you, right, at you. That's like a wedge, it's coming at you. A dash is literally the opposite. It means that any atom or molecule that is connected to a dash is going into the plane or away from you. Now here's a stupid mnemonic I created. It's not the best, but whew, it's pretty funny. So say you decide to be stupid one day and you get in your car and then you're driving along and you see a cop. And the first thing that happens that comes into your mind is like, ooh, let me go rear end that cop. So you go ahead and do it. Don't do it, but you do it. He pulls you over, obviously. He comes to your window, and then for some reason, you pull a weapon on him. He's gonna point a weapon at you, okay? So weapons are aimed at you. So those are wedges. Wedges are weapons and they come at you. Weapons are pointed at you. Now, say in the same scenario, you get pulled over by a cop, but instead you decide to do a high-speed fun pursuit. Well, the cop is gonna obviously follow you and he's tracking your speed with a radar gun. The radar gun suspiciously looks like dashes. So think about distance as dashes, okay? Here's another, you know, yeah, we just had the Olympics. There's that uh, sport, the 100 meter dash. Think about the runners are dashing away from the start line, away from you. Ha ha, see, I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, so think about it like that. If, that. if that weapon cop thing didn't work out for you, then there's the sprint thing, but you know, the Olympic thing. But once again, wedges are weapons and they come at you. Wedges come at you. Dashes go away from you. You dash away. Distance. Gain distance away from you. And yeah, I'm going to shut up now because that's the end of the video. But if you found this, you know, oh, wait, wait. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And until next time, later.